All right, so in, in part one, we generated the EM model of our structure and the BLCS structure. And now we are going to optimize or perform the EM optimization. Remember, we have performed the circuit optimization many times, and this was the latest one that I showed you today in the part one. And what I will do is I will just go here and say find save as, and I will rename it, and I will say it, uh, say for example, EM optim. And let me see what was the version I had here. EM optim, say let's EM optim 2 or something. So now this is EM optimization and press OK. And now what I will do is I don't need any of these things here. Remove that. Let the ports be, ter terminations be here. And then I don't need M sub definition because that definition is already attached to our model. And now what I will do is I will just uh, go ahead and let me minimize this and see if I'm able to uh, drag this one here, this symbol. Drag this symbol in this schematic here. So now look here, what I did is I just dragged this symbol that we had for our EM model and brought it here. So this is so-called the look-alike look -alike symbol. And what you do is you just uh, now go ahead and re reattach this here, reattach this one here, and reattach this one here. Now if you look here, uh, these values are the values that we entered in that layout window, if you recall. And we have to optimize this. So what we'll do is we'll just, and this is the advantage of naming these variables same as the variables we have here. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and uh, click the, you know, uh, these variables and set them to be optimizable, like tune and optimize as we have done before. But what, what we will do is that we already have defined the optimization variable here. So we'll just go ahead and change it to WH. Uh, this one will be LH. This will be WB, this will be LV. So now, what will happen is that when you are going to simulate this structure, it will come here and try to find, okay, what is the value of WH? It will say, okay, WH. And where is that WH defined? It is here. And that is, remember, all these variables are optimizable as well. So, what we are going to do now, first click here, okay, just click here, and click on this button here, and make sure that you are using the EM model and press OK. So this is important to make make sure that this is changed to EM model. Okay? And we are not simulating this layout view or anything. We are simulating the EM model of this. And now, let's first of all, let's go ahead and simulate see this, this one and see how this looks like. So let's go ahead and simulate this structure and see how this results looks like. It should be very similar to, you know, almost the same what we got earlier because that's the structure we are simulating. So control A, control C, close this one, and let's go ahead and copy and paste. Okay, so it's the same result that we got in the EM, right? And that, oops, sorry, what did I do? Escape, save. So this is the same result that, of course it should be because we are simulating, we have not changed any of these values. And now that what we will do is we will optimize it like any other structure. Oh. Any other structure. So now here, it is much more convenient, especially in the EM optimization, to simulate it a single frequency first and see how it looks like. And otherwise, we can always force it to you know change it to linearly and simulate it from 1.4 or optimize it from optimize it from 1.4 to 1.6. Now. This process is going to take much, much longer. And first of all, maybe I will try this with the random because random is faster. Press OK. And let it, you know, uh, the, the range of these variables be the same. So if you recall, if you remember what I mean is you go here, simulation variables set up and in optimization, you can assign the range of value over which these variables can vary during the optimization. So this is how optimization works, basically. 
it uh, you know try to change these variables and see if the how close these goals are are met so we will let it to the default values as we have done so far and we will start the optimization and it will start and it will take a lot of time because it is EM and EM simulation is always very very um, time consuming so what I will do is I will stop my video here and in the next result I will uh, you know share um, how the results look like so you have to have sometimes my optimization i mean no, maybe not for this simple structure but keep in mind that this uh, some for some for some complicated structure this optimization may run for like you know for a day uh, sometimes so uh, have patience and like again like if this uh, random doesn't work try to do it using the gradient and see if you know if that gives you any performance improvement so this is how you set up the optimization and in the next video, I will uh, show you result of my, you know, effort of this EM optimization. I hope this video was uh, useful. Uh, we'll meet again in a bit.